Tonight, it's Madden NFL football. It's Super Bowl Sunday. We'll see Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Season number 101 of the NFL might have been the most unconventional yet, but we have made it through together. And now the eyes of the sporting world fall on us here tonight as it is the night we crown a champion. And all of us here at EA Sports so proud to bring you Super Bowl 55 from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. And it's a matchup full of intrigue. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the champions from the NFC, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And Charles, we know how difficult it is to go back to back in the NFL. Few have succeeded in doing so. But here are the Kansas City Chiefs, champions of the AFC yet again, trying to lift that Lombardi trophy. Remember, this is a franchise that played in the first ever Super Bowl. Then they ended up winning Super Bowl IV, which was 50 years prior to winning Super Bowl 54. They didn't want to win another 50 years, so they went ahead and made it back this year. What a great run for this Kansas City team. Meanwhile, the Buccaneers are back in the Super Bowl for just the second time in franchise history. And I know one thing, they'd love a repeat of that first appearance. Would they ever? That was 2003 in San Diego, and it was Super Bowl 37. They were the underdogs coming in against the Oakland Raiders, and they flogged the Raiders in that game, 48-21. to 21. You know what I remember most about that? John Gruden was the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but he'd previously been the head coach of the Oakland Raiders. And during practice leading up to the game, he would play scout team quarterback and tell the defense all the characteristics and mannerisms of the Raiders quarterback, Rich Gannon, and had his defense totally prepared. And boy, did they play well and won their first Super Bowl title. It's been a trying year for everybody, but the tradition continues. Super Bowl 55, away we go from Tampa. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. We know the arm strength is certainly there. He's got a big-time cannon for an arm. And that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former Major League pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm, develop the touch that's needed, and carry his team towards the playoffs? Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six. Brings up second and four at the 34-yard line. The last run got six, now second and four. the shotgun it's Bell and he'll get two maybe three up near the 37 he's brought down Brandon all things considered they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them they just play number three here on the opening drive and it's an early third and one Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. But forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. First, I remember they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind. And this time, they get it to him the more conventional way. And it's much more successful as well.
So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards aware. And the Buccaneer defense for the second straight play, flexing its muscle by forcing a loss. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And Robinson with a big catch. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. A chance for the first points of this Super Bowl. It's first and goal. Now Bell. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So often you hear that pep talks don't really work in the heat of the battle. But collectively, this defense has to say to each other, we've been on our heels this whole first drive. This is where we need to dig in. And they got a nice stop right there for a loss on first and goal. from the nine here's second and goal Mahomes gonna pull it out and keep it himself Mahomes hit he lost the football and it's picked up by the Buccaneers and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back first try on offense for the Bucs and their veteran quarterback Tom Brady it's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, not, so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that tells me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. the fumble recovery it's Brady that's complete to his running back Evans and they'll get him down up past the 15 just shy of the 20. the drive starting with a first down 11 yards on that pickup that certainly has to feel good it's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit sometimes I think in the huddle the quarterback just says hey who's gonna make a play for me I just need something right here and the end result there nice first down drive keeps moving so a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Now a dump off here complete. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back. Let him create some space. It turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes 
an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And break, the tight end's got it. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Sure, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Brady on target there to Godwin. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 35. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, He's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 35-yard line. Fournette running out of the gun, and he'll be taken down at the 34. Chris Jones on the stop. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Shotgun now for Brady. He hits Gronkowski on the out route. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 15 yards on the play, first down. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. They'll contain him to just four, second down. It's now second and six the 15-yard line. From the gun, it's Brady. And his throw is incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And a loose football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Fumble on the play. Recovered. So a rocky, rocky start on both sides offensively. Turnovers exchange. Uh, I saw what you did there. What I do? Rocky, rocky, rocky. rocky. Too rocky. I, I saw that. I got it. And but, you know, and right now. They're carrying it around like they are wearing boxing gloves if we're going to have that kind of a reference. They've got to get it together and start playing a little bit better ball. 
Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five at the Buccaneers' 43-yard line. to throw it's Mahomes complete the tight end Kelsey and he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30 12 yards there and a first down well, I think when they look at their offense they think to themselves weapons weapons everywhere and they want to move the ball around they want to spread it to different people but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well and that's what they just did on that play They'll run. It's Edwards Alaire. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. Not the kind of gain that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL. And Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. play on second down and he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field so let's see about the call so on the big tight end holding each and every year we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college so it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Here's Mahomes to throw. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Mahomes gets this one to Hill. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility. So good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. What's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact and he'll go deep. They'll run with Edwards Alaire. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Brings up second and goal at the nine-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. No score. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Mahomes going to throw. That's complete right around the eight. 
and he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Mahomes now to throw. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. The Chiefs field goal. A 20-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. Chiefs 3. Buccaneers nothing. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. To the field goal. Here's Butker to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 28. Now comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. On the tackle, Tyron Matthew. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Looking to throw on second down. Brady, this one complete to Scott Miller. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first out as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Three yards the gain there, second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. To throw again on second down, Brady. And a catch right side by Evans. Brady, a one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it.
that. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. It's the honey badger, Tyron Matthew. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. And now here comes Kansas City. Well, what do you think? You get the ball at the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here on the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position after a turnover. I feel like I might have a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. They'll start with the option. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now a throw for the All-Pro Kelsey is complete. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. And they run the option here on first and 10. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Seven yards there at a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And he's going to try and do this himself. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. Does the big boy have the juice? He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's worked on. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows their role when they create a turnover like that. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Brady firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Bucs are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. From the gun, Brady. 
And it's caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Well, he decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Suck up on for the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7 3. A drive there of just four plays. And it's Ronald Jones that polishes it off with a touchdown run. Touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And we put our focus now on Le'Veon Bell. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try to loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. Mahomes that one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a first shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. Mahomes, a gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking to hit his running back, Le'Veon Bell, that time. And it's third and four. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. The Chiefs on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and four. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open. 
He finds a way to pick up a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. A reminder coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of the Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman of the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. He is going to find Hill here. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They go play action. Now Mahomes. This is caught. Watkins. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. And that is caught for the touchdown. Kansas City to Marcus Robinson. There to make the grab. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. They went empty backfield. All their weapons out wide. So there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. After the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Leonard Fournette making his way back out there. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try to mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. Brady now on first down. He finds an opening past the 40. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Wait, 
So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Shotgun now for Brady. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. From the gun, it's Brady. And he'll get that to Fournette, complete. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll make it third down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Chris Godwin as the first half is winding down. And the Buccaneers have once again taken the lead. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Extra point try now for Sucka. And that makes it 14-10. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken in at the three. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only gonna fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not gonna be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. To throw, it's Mahomes. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. now on first down escaping the pressure right and he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49 nice work to get seven out of that and it's second down four receivers in the formation here three to the left one to the right second and three 
Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. And that gonna be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you a stone throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight, as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already, and that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Teams ready after the halftime spectacle. And we are back underway in Super Bowl 55. Takes this about five yards deep. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The attention shifting back to Chris Godwin and the rest of the Tampa offense. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. And Brady and the Buccaneers here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll set up the throw from the gun to Evans on the slant. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Operating from the gun. Brady quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pickup. First down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On the counter, here's Jones. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. On 
first and ten. Here's Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski. Complete. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync. Stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing and communicating. There he is, and it passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. A gain of 13, it's a first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside. And that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. And Jones with a nice burst there on first down as he'll be taken down, but not before a gain of seven yards. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. From the gun. Brady, a pass underneath for Fournette, and he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Seven yards there and a first down. And they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. A shotgun give to Fournette. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Operating from the gun. Brady, his pass caught at the four. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tom Brady hooking up with Mike Evans there as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. It's good, and it's 21-10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there.
So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Back to the ground, this time with Bell. Three yards is the pickup, but it leaves him still needing 11 here on third down. Well, it's not time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Forced out to his left. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. I liked his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Back now comes Tampa Bay. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and 10. A quick pass here to Godwin. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that, where it's caught and he's dropped down the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. Brady gonna try and throw on third down. Dumps it off to Fournette. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Here's Bradley Pinion now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No does that guy get on the field on this drive? Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's some guys, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Mahomes now on first down. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down to hands of the wrong team. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your quarter? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. 
When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? That's what he's done here in this one so far. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Running lanes run a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll go again to Jones. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. as they defend this third down. From the gun, Brady. That's out to his running back, Fournette. And he goes down, but not before getting his inside the 25. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. The good signal callers will never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly. And that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. On the draw, this is Fournette. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 13-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down, they hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field, and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes, you can bypass him with a running play. And he is going to have the box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He only got a yard, but that was enough to do the job. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Brady. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. At the Chiefs' five-yard line. the end of the third quarter one quarter remains here in the super bowl we'll return with more after this this is the nfl and it's on ea sports
second and three with the ball sitting on the five. Operating from the gun, Brady. And he's going to go down, sacked right around the 17. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Enough to start you off a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Brady in the box need to work a little magic third and long after that last sack. Brady gives this one off to Jones, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. A four-yard gain. It's fourth down. Suck up on now for the Buccaneer field goal. For the field goal. A 30-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And that will get the lead up to 14. Here's 24. Chiefs 10. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll drop to throw. A screen to Bell. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That would complete to Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he'll get this underneath to Bell. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Oh, 
The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And that'll lead here to a third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. shot in this Super Bowl. They're going to need this one on fourth down. They'll go for it with Bell. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Deep in the red zone, seemed like they had their mind made up that that was four down territory, and now they've got it inside the five. I like the way you looked at that because you're thinking just like a play caller and a head coach who gave the play caller that authority. It was four down territory. They went for it, picked it up. They didn't get the touchdown, but what a great consolation prize. A new set of downs and another shot at the end zone. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play, and that'll make it second and goal. It's a nice second effort we just saw there. So I'm trying to get to the end zone, but a lot of times near the goal line, that second effort can lead to disaster. Make sure you hold on to the football because there's going to be guys swarming when you're carrying it. Second and goal from the six this time. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. He's got it, and it's 24-17. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it ends with a way beyond Bell touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. 
And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bucs take over first and 10 at their own 20. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And he'll begin with a give to Fournette to start the drive. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. He's brought down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Third and four. The Bucks on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This is third and four. Shotgun now for Brady. Open man is good, but it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Brady finding Godwin there for a Buccaneer first. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted him or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident that he's taken down a chief sack. Tyron Matthew, normally known for the pass coverage, this time a sack. Hey, normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stack sheet stumper. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack it's second and 18 another try after the first down sack Brady that's complete to his receiver Godwin and he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackles made at the Chiefs 45 yard line a good pick up there of 20 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 45-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Again, it's Jones. 
He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And down to the 28-yard line. 15 yards on the play. First down. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. Super Bowl 55 down to the final two minutes. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a first down carry by Jones. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. This is Jones. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And they will take a knee here. This drive's taking more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Here's Jones. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bound. I don't know why we did it, but we went to their final walkthrough for some reason. And what did we see? Their last play and walkthrough was taking a knee and celebrating winning a Super Bowl. They wanted that visualization. They did it for real. Yeah, they just scripted it out. Defense can't stop the clock. And they can watch the final seconds tick. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won the Super Bowl, and they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy to cap an amazing season. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.